Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, I got a message or um, a comment asking Sandolfin how to open up the Earth Star Chakra. And thank you for the question. I really appreciate it. Um, so actually I did a, a writing channeling and he first, he said, just uh, first go into your book. So in my book, um, it's uh, Hathor Lesson 11. Uh, they talk about how to open up your um, Earth Star Chakra. Okay, so this was from, um, her name was, she is a Hathor, but her name was Elohim. And it's no relation to the biblical Elohim. Um, the A lot of times, um, interdimensional people or, or people from different dimensions, when they say their name, it doesn't sound like our language. It's just like, it sounded like a frequency sleep, uh, sweep. So it's kind of like, like that. <laughs> So rather than, that's kind of hard to pronounce, so Elohim was a little bit easier, but no relation to the biblical Elohim. Okay, so now here is her message. Um, just a little bit about her, just because it's kind of interesting. Um, she was wearing a white gauzy dress that was almost see-through, but it wasn't. She was barefoot. Um, she had brownish nail polish on her fingernails. Her face was kind of triangular and resembled that of a cat. And she didn't have any hair. She said as they get older, they lose their hair. So I guess similar to us, huh? <laughs> and so, yeah. She told me that the reason... Ah, never mind that. Okay, so here we go. So here she says, uh, Greetings, all who are reading this. The times that you as humans are living through are very intense. And it is the intensity that creates diamonds or crystals. When you are under this amount of pressure, it is important to continually renew your energy as the pressure is very depleting. This is why we focus so much on the sacral chakra, because this is where you can renew your energy and then use it to renew the energy throughout your body. Today, however, we will be moving on to the earth chakra. This is, as you probably have guessed, your connection to the earth. This is where you ground your energy to the earth. A very important part of the ascension process is you receiving these higher energies from the universe and then processing them through your energy centers and then grounding them, uh, grounding that energy into the earth. So this is a very re overlooked chakra as most humans seem to be wanting to escape the earth as much as possible. Hello. <laughs> this is of course understandable with the pressure you feel here. However, a more powerful method would be just to accept those energies. Go through them, feel them, but don't let them be you and then ground the energy into the earth. The earth has a very calming effect on you. Think of a ground plug on an electrical socket. If you don't ground the energy, there is a risk of an electric shock. There is a similar risk if you are dealing with too many intense energies and you don't ground them. They might get stuck in your body and cause problems or illnesses. So the Earth Star is also there to guide you on your path here on the Earth to guide your feet on the path to follow. And that is what Sandalfin talked about in the previous channeling. Okay, so here's the instructions. Uh, sorry, I guess that was quite a prelude to get to the instructions. Uh, okay, so I'll just read as they wrote. We are here, our beloved Jason, to give you further instructions on how to use your Earth Star Chakra. With this chakra, as we have mentioned, it is about anchoring yourself into the Earth, a very important part of releasing energies such as stress and emotions, and in addition to a very important part of your experience here on Earth in these changing times. By anchoring the energy into the Earth, you are not only helping yourself, but the Earth as well. The way to anchor this energy is to imagine a giant ball of white light before, below your feet, and then imagine that light descending into the earth to its core, the center of the earth. You might see it as if the bottom of your feet are giant flashlights sending the light into the earth, illuminating the earth. Use your toning voice to sustain and increase the light. Now I've just noticed a spelling mistake there. <laughs> So, uh, yes, so that's what I, I, I do this every morning. Um, uh, you don't really need this, but I usually just use a Tibetan bowl. And uh, I'll go through what's called the Bija mantras, which are just a set of uh, yoga. They're called seed mantras. And I'll, there's one for each chakra. 
And for the earth star, there isn't one, but what I usually do is I'll sing the lowest note that I can. And then I'll imagine those giant flashlights on the bottom of my feet. And it's a really powerful feeling. Like um, a lot of people feel like they have to, when they do earthing, they have to go outside into the, you know, onto the ground. And that's, that's great, of course, you know, like if you have ground to go to. I kind of live in a middle, kind of in the city. Uh, and there is ground, but <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot of dog pee on that ground as well. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, so for grounding, you don't have to be on the ground. Um, so your imagination is very, very powerful. So I do this in my room. So on the second floor of a house. So uh, for example, so here we go. So this is my, my throat chakra uh, bowl. So... I would sing, for example, the alam, and that would be for my, for my root chakra. But when I go for the earth star, I just go as deep as I can go. So, and I think. Getting a little bit greedy is good too, because you're when you're getting into the earth, you're getting into the nitty gritty. Um, I have for, for at least for me, that kind of works. And this is a very powerful. So combining the sound and combining the the visualization of the of the lights on the bottom of your feet is a very powerful meditation. I really recommend it, and you can do it anywhere. <laughs> well, uh, I try not to do it on crowded trains, but I sometimes do. <laughs> So anyway, that's that. Um, yeah, maybe I'll uh, call in Archangel Sandalfin to see if he has anything to add to this. Mm -hmm. We are here. We are Archangel Sandalfin, and it is wonderful to meet you again, to talk to all of you again. As we were saying in our last channeling session, we feel like we're the overlooked Archangel. <laughs> and this is, of course, a joke. We don't, we don't feel overlooked. We uh, enjoy uh, helping all of you dealing with these issues and dealing with, with dealing with your earth and dealing with the, the, the increasing energies on your earth. And this ascension is, is, is hitting all of you in a very, very extreme way way and and we are here to help as always whatever you need we can, we are here to help and this meditation that that your channel here has given you is is a very very powerful meditation this is one that we have channeled through him through the hathors and through us as well uh, so we, we would suggest doing this meditation another thing that you can do is use your intuition Use your intuition. Sense the earth. So it doesn't matter how high you up, high how high you are up in the sky. If you're at a 23-store building in the middle of a giant city, there still is the earth below you, and you can imagine that earth. And that is the power. The power to to overcome these buildings. It's a building. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It's not real. It's just. It's just a building. It's just a construct. And you are connected to the earth. So wherever you go, you are always connect it to the earth and you can always feel, feel me below your feet and, and feel the energy. I can connect you to the earth and understand that the earth is always connected to you. It is never disconnected unless you want to disconnect. And that is something that we can't uh, help. Of course, that is your, your free will. You're free to disconnect. But if, if you would like to connect, you're free at, at any time and the earth is willing to connect with you. Okay, so there you go. That is a uh, message from Sandalfin, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks.